over there. Okay, let's go on the front porch here and talk. Would that be where we say cut? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go out and see how pretty everything is. And we're in a, another rain. Uh, what do you call it? Rain band? Is that what you'd say? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're sitting here on the front porch out here on the plateau. Uh, Looking over the situation this morning, we've not been out to feed or anything yet because it's just rainy. And I see the wine dots that survived the evening down there. They're huddled up underneath, and we need to move them again today. It looks so green and pretty, don't it? But uh, show you what it looks like out here this morning after the rain. Like we mentioned before, we bush hogged the other day and cleaned the field up. I'll give you a visual of what our front yard looks like. Uh, we have to find indoor sports today. Looks like. Indoor sports? Or oh, does it look like it's going to rain all day long? Mm -hmm. We got us a view right there of the barn up there and all the goats and everything are inside because goats do not like it when it rains. It's rained probably, I would say, uh, one, at least one day out of the week, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. It's uh, ever since uh, probably April. It's rained one day at least out of the week, and uh, it's rained probably maybe inch and a half, two inches. I seen one time there was three and a half inches of rain in one day. But the rain's picked up a little bit. And this Miss Cindy, she's looking up on the internet there, different things, and finding out. Uh, have you gone to Premier Fence yet? Mm -hmm. As we uh, planted our. Today's Kayla's birthday. Who's? Kayla. It is. Well, tell her happy birthday. But, uh. There's what it looks like. And Like everybody else, I guess, that's trying to do this, we've been attempting to do this the past four years, probably, of trying to be sustain sustainable. Um, there's the wine dot rooster letting us know that he knows we're out. But uh, we've uh, we uh, grow our own vegetables, and we've got, of course, you've seen the animals that we have, and and uh, it's a trial error thing. It's a, uh, it's a lot of work. It's a, it's a, it's fun. It's uh, taking uh, uh, modern conveniences and mixing it with the old ways of doing things, where uh, you don't so much use power tools or uh, you, you do a lot of hand stuff, a lot of hand tools, and and it's a lot of hard work. Uh, uh, this year it's been kind of a little harder on me this year. Uh, my uh, back has gone out on me. My knees have gone out on me. I'm 60 years old now, and and uh, Miss Cindy, my helpmate, she, uh, my wife, my love. Uh, sometimes she feeds, and sometimes she uh, helps out, and uh, more so than uh, I deserve. Um, but uh, we're trying to get better and get my legs better here. There's a lot of work still to be done. We got some woods to clean up and treetops to cut out that's on the ground that we reserve for uh, firewood these next couple of seasons and still fence lines to clean and uh, we're still putting a little garden out this year we tried to do a, not a great big garden like we you, you last year we did an 81 by 91 foot garden and found that uh, we didn't have enough time to uh, properly weed it out and clean it out, but we did get a good yield off of it. Uh, did we uh, can anything off of it? Beans and tomatoes. Beans and tomatoes. We ate plenty of squash. Uh, guarantee this, we ate good through uh, the uh, summer months and uh, fall months through the garden, so we did well. But this year, because of my knees, my back, and getting out there and what have you, and we just made a little small garden over there, and we 
planted some herbs this year, so we want to try the herbs out. And uh, so we just decided to go a little smaller on that. Um, we've got the eight pigs that were grown up, and they'll be three of them be sold out the first of uh, July. You know, around that fourth uh, celebration of the birthday of our nation. Amen. And then uh, we've got some goats that are going out probably. Then the other pigs will be out by August, August, September. Well, we just had two brand new baby goats born last Saturday. A nanny and a billy. And uh, I'm going to keep all my young nannies. I'm going to get rid of my three oldest ones. I usually stay within the boar family. Uh, my sire for my goats are a... Um, I have a Nubian boar mixed billy goat. And then I... I breed them with a boar goat, and uh, and uh, so they've I've got some pretty goats coming out, and you probably in the uh, other videos you've probably seen what goats I've had. Um, we got four billies being sold. Uh, well, three of them are sold, and one of them is being traded out for a nanny, and I'll keep my younger nannies. That way, my younger stock will go, and I'll sell out my older ones. My chickens, uh, I'm growing my chickens up, restocking. Probably it seems about every three to four months, I'm adding four or five to it just to keep it going. My first batch of chickens I bought, what, three years ago, four years ago? Three years ago. They're still producing eggs, but they're about on their last leg, or last egg, however you want to say it. Probably last leg. Uh, they, they'll probably go in the pot. Uh, they probably make good stew soup or something, you know. But I got... Uh, I still got my turkeys. Uh, I got uh, 15 eggs right now in the incubator. Uh, just hatched out three uh, wine dots so I can keep my wine dot. These are blue lace wine dots so I can keep them going. They're a pretty bird. And uh, no, uh, everything else is working good. The house is up and uh, plumbing's working, the electric's working. Um, Probably the next big project I got going would be probably the smokehouse I'm fixing to start. So that'll be uh, <clears throat> that'll be good. Uh, that's probably the next big project I want to do. Um, for me to build something is a project. It uh, my houses always turn out to be looking like Ren and Stimpy's, you know, all, you know. I've seen a lot of folks on YouTube that do a lot of professional work, it seems like, on their homesteads, and they just look p professional and and uh, clean and straight, and I'd give any in the world for that kind of talent. But, you know, like Miss Patera says, you know, it's, it's, in, it's uh, improving them skills, and that's what we look to do is improve our skills so we can make our home life comfortable and happy and... Uh, we just, uh, I keep looking at that pond down there and I expect I want to go fishing here pretty soon. It's a call on me. I got some, I was up there bush hogging the other day and looking down over the hill when I was up there on the tractor and I looked down in the pond and I bet you there was a three, three and a half foot catfish down in there. He must have looked like he was five inches around. He's a big one down in there. And, uh, if I can catch him, I'd eat him. I'd, uh, chunk him up and little with a melon ball with a melon ball getter and take out some meat and deep fry him he looks pretty good but uh, anything that you want to add there miss Cindy to the what's going on in our homestead here no okay we're up here on the plateau on the Cumberland plateau uh, uh, up here where your uh, homestead conference is that uh, Miss Patera has uh, so graciously seen that uh, uh, it's uh, very informative and, and it's fun. It ties us all together. And She mentioned that she'd like to make it more local. And so uh, here at Bromart Farms, we'd like to make it more local too. And uh, I think that, uh, I think for the one or two days that the conference is coming up next week, I think we ought to uh, uh, maybe take on one or two couples, huh? For the instead of buying a hotel or something, let them come and stay here. 
What do you think? She shrugs her shoulders right now, but I think she'll say yes to that, amen. So I think that uh, if anybody needs a place to stay and for the conference next year and just wants to hang out, to just uh, get a hold of us, let us know. It's a Broadmark Farms. If you like it here, uh, what you see and what we do, of course, most of us trial and error. I make a lot of mistakes. Got a lot of cuts on my hands, and but it's fun. It's a good time. So uh, thank you so much. And if anybody out there can show me or teach me a better way of editing these, uh, then I would sure would appreciate it. Uh, Mike up there at uh, Pratt Family, um, I love what you're doing. I have Tamworth pigs mixed with old spots. And uh, I like what you're doing, and uh, I appreciate it. And uh, Patera, thank you so much for all your help, what you've done. And uh, Doug and Stacy down there, I appreciate what you do for us and helping us here on our little homestead here. Thank you so much, and uh, thanks for stopping in at Bro Mark Farms. I'm Brother Mark, and this is Miss Cindy, and. There's Kizzy Dog. They're both camera shy. Yeah, they don't know how to do a camera yet. But uh, I just uh, appreciate your day. God bless you. Read your Bible every day. Pay attention to the Lord. Have a mindful attitude of Him. And be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. We love you. Thanks for stopping in to Bro Mark Farms.